Adding appearances is a relatively straightforward process in SOLIDWORKS. If you select pretty much any face, feature, or body, the contact sensitive menu will come up and allow you to add an appearance. And you also have the appearance column in the display pane. And this you can apply appearances to everything but faces. Faces you'll have to select out within the workspace. You can also drag in appearances from the right in the appearances folder. And also when you apply a material, you get an appearance. Or there's generally a, an appearance associated with that material. The same holds true for an assembly. I have this bone wrench in a one part assembly. And the only difference is that I can apply appearances at either the component level or the part level. So I can change the part document or I can simply add a color to the part within the assembly and not have it apply to the part. And that may be a little bit confusing, though, so to demonstrate what that means, if I click in the appearance area and choose apply at component level, you'll see that removes out any appearances on features, faces, and from the part itself. You'll see that triangle is sitting above the part level triangle, canceling it out, essentially. If I wanted to remove that out, I could always click in and remove that appearance. You saw underneath that pull down, there's also remove all component level appearances when you do have those in the assembly. Aside from that, in this video, I won't really talk much more about assemblies, and I'll just focus on applying appearances at the part level. So I'm going to go ahead and remove out all of my appearances that I currently have. And I can remove individual appearances, or simply go to remove all part appearances. So that removed out all of my appearances, including the material appearance. So if you go back in, go to appearance, you can see what it should look like. And if we just apply all those material settings back in, it'll bring back that appearance. And once again, if you want, you can remove out this appearance. And you have roughly all the same appearances as well as a few extra in the Appearances tab. And the nice thing about material appearances is they tend to come with a texture. And that texture gets retained even if you change the color. So you can see here it's almost as though I have a green stainless steel. If I did do remove all appearances, and then add the green, it won't retain that stainless steel texture. So once again you see if I change a face, it retains that texture as well. So to change a specific appearance, of a face, feature, or body, or the entire part. If we click on this face, for example, and come to the appearance, you'll see I can choose from the face, the feature, the body, or the entire wrench. In this case, I only have one body, so it's going to apply to the entire part. If I did quickly create a disjointed body. We could set its own appearance by choosing the body option. And if you select out the appearance from within the feature manager, 
it's going to automatically apply to whatever level you selected. In this case, we selected a body. If I came down and selected an extrusion and changed the appearance, either by clicking here or into the column, now I can go ahead and change out that feature. Now instead of just these faces changing, since I have two cuts, it's going to apply to both. And I could do the same to the other cuts if I wanted. That's pretty much all you need to know about adding appearances. But I'll go ahead and look through these materials a little bit to give you an idea of what you have to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and hide the extra body that I created. And I'll go ahead and remove all the part appearances. Once again, one of the benefits of the textures from these materials is that if I, for example, bring in a painted appearance and choose car, and these happen to be some of the best appearances for rendering, and so I tend to use them pretty frequently. Now I have this texture and I can choose any color I want once again. And within the appearances you can also choose a secondary color. So for example, if I wanted to make this red and blue, I can have this reflect different colors as it's rotated around. In terms of colors, you can set your own using the RGB or HSV, or you can simply drag this around to choose a color, or choose one of the stock colors in here. We also have options for the setting for the color. And these will apply, you notice these aren't changing, these will apply if we don't have a texture present. You'll notice that that transparency didn't apply. And the reason for that, once again, is because we have a texture present from the appearances. Lastly in here is display states, and if you want to know a little bit more about display states, I talk about them in the assemblies section. For these appearances, we can also drag these in and apply them to specific features or faces. So if we wanted a chrome appearance, let's say, on the inside cuts, we can get that. We can also choose out multiple faces if we come in and edit the appearance. And you'll see in the selected geometry area, we can also choose the level that we want to apply the appearance at. So if I wanted to select several of these out, I could add that appearance specifically to those faces. So you can see there's quite a bit you can do with the appearances. It just comes down to how far your imagination will take you.